Good day everyone. I am Corporal Dennis A. Marrero, 909303, Infantry Philippine Army, presently assigned at 105 Community Defense Center, 1st Regional Community Defense Group, Army Reserve Command, Military Schooling, Professional Development Course, Class 11-2016, and Medical First Responder Course, Class 9-2016. Classroom rules. Those who will attend personal necessity can go outside silently. Those who are sleepy can proceed at the back and have some stretching. Question will be entertained right after the lecture. Safety plan. Fire. In case of fire, run immediately to the nearest exit door and immediately proceed to open ground for accounting. Earthquake. Do the duck, cover, and hold on procedure. Creeping wire. Be careful of the extension wire use. Reference. Philippine Army 3-015 Infantry Rifle Platoon and Squad Operations in Military History. This manual focuses on the universally accepted tactics, techniques, and procedures in combat operation on any environment and climate, except in very extreme weather condition, and is appropriate for any levels of conflict. This manual primarily aims to provide guidance to the infantry rifle platoon leader, platoon sergeant, squad leader, and fire team leaders, to instructors and students of this training, and as well as writers involved in infantry manual development. Field commanders and staff officers, service schools, and other military training schools will also benefit greatly from this manual. Leaders must use this, but they must not lose sight of the fundamental principles outlined in Chapter 1. Learning Outcome The students will be able to know the importance of squad operation and their function in the infantry operations. Roadmap Discuss the following Definition, Mission, Capabilities, and Last Limitation My subject for this morning is Fundamental of Infantry Operations The military history of the Philippines is characterized by wars between Philippine kingdoms and its neighbors In the pre-colonial era and in a period of struggle against colonial powers such as Spain and the United States, occupation by the Empire of Japan during World War II, and participation in Asian conflict post-World War II such as the Korean War and the Vietnam War. The Philippines has also battled a communist insurgency and secessionist movement by Muslims in the southern portion of the country. Definition Infantry squad is the smallest unit having elements that will confront the enemy face to face. It is organized and equipped to fight swiftly and win lethality. Infantry is a military specialization that engages in military combat on foot distinguished from cavalry, artillery, and tank forces, also known as foot soldiers or infanters. Infantry traditionally relies on moving by foot 
between combats as well, but may also use mounts, military vehicles, or other transport. Swiftly, ang ibig sabihin ng swiftly, mat matulin or moving or capable of moving with a great speed or velocity. Ang other means naman ng lethality is the capacity to cause death or serious harm or damage. Mission, to close with the enemy by means of fire and maneuver, to destroy or capture him or repair his assault by fire, close combat and counter attack upang mapalapit sa kaaway sa pamamagitan ng pagputok at pakana upang sirain o makuha sa kanya o labanan ng kanyang pagsalakay sa pamamagitan ng pagputok, malapit na labanan at counter-attack. Organization The Rifle Squad as 9 soldiers. It fight as 2 fire teams. The squad as 1 squad leader, 2 fire team leader, 2 automatic rifleman, Two rifleman and two grenadier. Ang tagumpay sa labanan ay nakasalalay sa mga reaksyon ng mga squad. Sa mga pakikipagunayan, ang kanilang kakayang isara sa kalaban at naangkop na kumilos sa pakikipagugnay. Ang wastong pagtatrabaho ng mga suppressive fire at ang kakayang maneuver. Gayon din ang kanilang kakayang makuha ang suporta ng mga tao at ng pamayanan kung saan nakukuha ng kaaway ang suporta sa pananalapi, material, panglogistik at pagpapatakbo ay maaring magtipid sa balanse ng tactical na lakas na maaring mapahusay ang seguridad ng squad sa mga operasyon. Organization Assignment Organic to the Infantry Platoon a platoon leader or a platoon commander, more common in Commonwealth Militia and the U.S. Marine Corps, is the officer in charge of a platoon. This person is usually a junior officer, a second or first lieutenant or an equivalent rank. The officer is usually assisted by a, a platoon sergeant. In many militaries, a platoon sergeant is the senior enlisted member of the platoon who advises and supports the platoon commanding officer in leading the unit. Ratelo The meaning of Ratelo is radio telephone operator in the platoon. Assistant Ratelo Assistant radio operator Psychological operation Our operation to convey selected information and indicators to audience to influence their emotions motives and objective reasoning the ultimately the behavior of governments organization groups and individual the machine gunner is responsible for the tactical employment of the 7.62 millimeter medium machine gun the 50 caliber and 40 millimeter heavy machine gun and their support vehicle machine gunners provide direct fire in support of the infantry rifle squad platoon companies. Medical aid man performs various duties to assist technicians in medical department activities, administer first aid treatment to sick, injured, or wounded, treats minor injuries and wounds such as cut, blisters, contusion, and laceration, applying medicants and bandaging wounds. Infantry Rifle Battalion Ang batalyon ay isang unit ng militar. Ang paggamit ng term na batalyon ay nag-iiba ayon sa nasyonalidad at sangay ng serbisyo. Karaniwan, ang isang batalyon ay binubuo ng 300 hanggang 800 na sundalo at nahati sa isang bilang ng mga kumpanya. Ang isang batalyon ay karaniwang pinamumunuan ng isang lieutenant colonel. Ang isang kumpanya ay isang unit ng militar, karaniwang binubuo ng 80 to 150 na sundalo, at karaniwang pinamumunuan ng isang pangunahing o isang kapitan. Karamihan sa mga kumpanya ay nabuo ng tatlo hanggang anim na mga platon, bagamat ang eksaktong bilang ay maaring mag-iba ayon sa bansa, uri ng unit at istruktura. Duties and Responsibilities 
squad leader. The squad leader is responsible for all that the infantry squad does or fails to do. He is a tactical leader and he leads by example. He ensures that the required skills and fitness of the squad is maintained. Definition of squad leader An enlisted man usually of non-commissioned officer in rank in charge of a squad. Duties and Responsibilities Squad Leader Control the maneuver of the squad and its rate and distribution of power. Trains his squad on the individual and collective tasks required to sustain combat effectiveness. Manage the logistical and administrative needs of his squad. He requests and issue ammunition, water ration, and special equipment. Complete casualty feeder reports and reviews. The casualty reports completed by squad member. Ang squad leader ay nagko-control ang pagmaneuver ng squad. Sinasanay ang kanyang squad sa individual at sama-samang gawain na kinakailangan upang mapanatili ang pagiging epektibo ng labanan. Pamahalaan ang mga pang-logistic at pang-administratibong pangangailangan ng kanyang squad. Humihiling siya at naglalabas ng bala, rasyon ng tubig at mga espesyal na kagamitan. Kompletuhin ang mga ulat ng casualty feeder at susuriin ang mga ulat ng nasawi na nakumpleto ng membro ng squad. Duties and Responsibilities Squad Leader Submit requests for awards and decorations. Directs the maintenance of the squad weapons and equipment. Inspect the condition of soldiers' weapons, clothing, and equipment. Ensures that the materials and supplies is equally distributed to the soldiers in the squad. Ang squad leader ang nagsasabit ng kahilingan para sa mga parangal at dekorasyon at namumuno sa pagpapanatili ng sandata at kagamitan ng squad. Sinusuri ang kalagayan ng sandata, damit at kagamitan ng mga sundalo. Tinitiyak na ang mga materyales at supply ay pantay na ibinabahagi sa mga sundalo ng squad. Duties and Responsibilities Squad Leader Keep the platoon sergeant informed on squad supply, status, and squad requirements. He is a fighting leader who lead by a personal example and help the squad leaders as required. Ensure the materials and supplies is equally distributed to the soldiers in the squad. He controls the movement of his PAR teams and the rate and placement of PAR by leading from the accountability of his soldiers and equipment. Ang squad leader ay kailangan na panatilihin na ang platoon sergeant ang pinuno ng kaalaman tungkol sa katayuan ng supply ng squad at mga kinakailangan sa squad. Siya ay isang namumuno sa pakikipaglaban na namumuno ng personal na halimbawa at tumutulong sa squad ayon sa kinakailangan. Tinitiyak na ang mga materyales at supply ay pantay na ibinabahagi sa mga sundalo at sa squad. Kinokontrol niya ang paggalaw ng kanyang mga partim at ang rate ng pamumuno mula sa pananagutan ng kanyang mga sundalo at kagamitan. Duties and Responsibilities Team Leader He ensures his soldiers maintain the unit standards in all areas. Armaments, M16 assault rifle, equipment, map and compass, night vision goggles, and utility rope. Ang team leader ay isang namumuno sa pakikipaglaban sa pamamagitan ng personal na halimbawa at tumutulong sa squad leader ayon sa kinakailangan. Kinokontrol niya ang movement ng team at ang rate at distribution of power. Tinitiyak ng team leader na panatilihin ng mga elemento ng squad ang pamantayan ng unit. Sinisigurado niya ang harap na lugar ng squad sa paggalaw at paghinto. Siya ang tagamanman o mata at tenga ng squad. Ang isang team leader ay isang tao na nagbibigay ng patnubay, tagubilin, direksyon at pamumuno sa isang team ng mga individual. Para sa hangarin na makamit ang isang pangunahing resulta o pangkat ng mga nakahanay na resulta. Duties and Responsibilities Team Leader He ensures his soldiers maintain the unit standards in all areas. Secures the front area of the squad during movement and halts. He is the squad eyes and ears of team. 
provide short range anti-armor capacity for the squad or platoon. Tinitiyak niya na panatilihin ng kanyang mga sundalo ang mga pamantayan ng unit sa lahat ng mga lugar. Sinisecure ang harap na lugar ng squad sa mga paggalaw at paghinto. Siya ang mata at tainga ng squad. Nagbibigay ng maigling saklaw na anti-armor na kakayahan para sa squad or platoon. Duties and Responsibilities Automatic Rifleman This soldier is responsible in providing sustained automatic fire for the squad. Armaments Squad Automatic Weapon Equipment Squad Automatic Weapon Ammo Pouches and Utility Rope Ang automatic rifleman ay equipped with a squad automatic weapon. Dapat ay bihasa siya sa pagpapatakbo, pagpapanatili at paggamit ng sandatang ito. Responsable ang automatic rifleman sa pagbibigay ng matagal na automatic fire para sa squad. Sinisigurado niya ang plak area ng squad sa mga paggalaw at paghinto. Duties and Responsibilities Automatic Rifleman Secure the left flank area during movement and halts. Duties and Responsibilities Grenadier He provides grenade capability to the squad in the platoon for maximum power power. Armaments, 40mm ammo pouch and utility rope. Equipment, M16 assault rifle attached with 40mm grenade launcher. Ang grenadier ay nagbibigay ng kakayahang granada sa squad para sa maximum power power. Sinisigurado niya ang plank area ng squad sa mga paggalaw at paghinto. Duties and Responsibilities, grenadier. Secure the right plank area of the squad during movements and halt. Duties and Responsibilities Rifleman He is responsible for the food supply and medical requirements of the team. Armaments M16 M14 Assault Rifle Equipment Medical Kit Cooking Utensils and Utility Rope Ang Rifleman ay responsable para sa supply ng pagkain at mga kinakailangan medical ng team. Sinusubaybayan niya ang kalusugan at kalinisan ng team at nangangasiwa ng pangunang lunas at nagsisilbing tagapagligtas ng labanan ng team. Nagbibigay siya ng seguridad sa likuran sa team at binubura ang mga truck na naiwan ng squad at team during operations. Duties and Responsibilities Rifleman He monitors the health and hygiene of the squad and provides technical expertise and supervision of the combat lifesavers. Sinusubaybayan niya ang kalusugan at kilinisan ng squad at nagbibigay ng teknikal na kadalubhasaan at pangangasiwa ng combat lifesavers. Infantry Rifle Squad Platoon Platoon Headquarters 1st Squad, 2nd Squad, and 3rd Squad Infantry Rifle Squad The Infantry Rifle Squad can Provide a base of fire and maneuver Close with the enemy to destroy or capture him Repel and assault by fire, close combat, and counter-attack. Size and hold terrain. Maneuver in all types of local weather and terrain. Conduct combat operation under limited visibility. Infantry Rifle Squad. The Infantry Rifle Squad can Maneuver in all types of local weather and terrain. Secure a designated area of operation for short and relatively Long periods, especially in counter-insurgency operations. Infiltrate into enemy control, terrain or areas. Conduct operation in semi or urban areas. Movement refers to shifting of forces on the battlefield. The key to moving successfully involves selecting the best combination of movement formations and movement techniques for each situation. You must consider factors of MET-TC in selecting the best route and the appropriate formation and movement technique. There are three squad movement formations, squad column, squad line, and squad file. Squad column is normally used as the primary formation. Squad line is used when maximum firepower is required to the front. Squad file is used within close terrain, vegetation, or limited visibility conditions.
The squad file has the same characteristics of the fire team file. The position of the squad leader and team leaders can be adjusted depending on the situation. It may not always be best to have the team leader as the point man. The squad file provides the easiest method of control but is the most difficult formation from which to maneuver. This formation provides maximum immediate fire to the flanks but masks most fire to the front and rear. Moving in the squad file provides the least amount of security to the unit. The squad line provides limited maneuver capability due to both fire teams being committed. This formation concentrates the maximum amount of the unit's firepower to the front end and is typically used during the establishment of a support by fire position. The squad line provides very little security to the flank and rear. The squad column is the most common movement formation and provides the best compromise between the squad line and squad file. It allows the most flexibility for the majority of situations. This formation facilitates maneuver and provides good dispersion laterally and in depth. The squad leader has the best control in the squad column. When the squad moves independently or as the rear element of the platoon, the rifleman in the rear fire team provides rear security, rendering all around security. Leaders must know how to select a formation based on which one best allows control, flexibility, firepower, and security. Movement techniques are the position of your squads and fire teams in relation to each other while moving. There are three movement techniques. Traveling, traveling overwatch, and bounding overwatch. Like formations, movement techniques provide your unit with varying degrees of control, security, and flexibility. The squad traveling formation is used when enemy contact is not likely. The travel technique offers the best speed and control during maneuver, but offers the least dispersion and security because the trail team follows closely behind the lead fire team. Because teams are closer during movement, the travel technique is easier for the squad leader to control. It is not normally used in enemy territory. Traveling overwatch is used when enemy contact is possible, but the squad must move quickly to accomplish the mission. The lead fire team is pushed out further, approximately 50 meters, so that if contact is made with the enemy, the squad leader can limit that contact to the lead fire team. This allows the squad leader to maneuver the trail fire team around the lead team without the maneuver team being engaged by the enemy. Bounding overwatch is used when contact with an enemy force is expected or when crossing a large open danger area. One fire team is always in an overwatch position, prepared to lay down a base of fire while the other fire team maneuvers. This is the slowest movement technique and the most difficult to control, but it provides the best dispersion and fire control. When contact is made, the fire team in contact becomes the base of fire team to destroy or suppress the enemy. The fire team not in contact maneuvers to destroy the enemy. If the squad leader decides to break contact, the fire team not in contact occupies a support by fire position where it can direct fire on the enemy force. This allows the fire team in contact to disengage and fall back to a covered and concealed position. They provide covering fire while the other fire team disengages. This process continues until the squad successfully breaks contact with the enemy. There are two types of bounding overwatch, successive bound and alternate bound. In the successive bound, the teams bound forward to a covered and concealed position, generally parallel with the other teams. In the alternate bound, the bounding fire team does not stop parallel with the overwatch fire team, but moves beyond the overwatch fire team. Bounding overwatch provides the most control, the most dispersion, and the most security, but at the cost of speed. The squad leader must consider MET-TC and the advantages and disadvantages to the three squad movement techniques to move the unit and accomplish the assigned mission. 
Of the three squad movement formations and three squad movement techniques, the squad leader must choose from a variety of factors which is the one best suited for his mission and his environment. Capability limitation, unit level administration, planning before you execute. The function of administration is introduced at this level in the form of a headquarters platoon administered by a sergeant and containing supply, maintenance, or other section. Supply, military logistics, is the discipline of planning and carrying out the movement, supply, and maintenance of military forces in its most comprehensive sense, in its those aspects or military operation. Unit level maintenance of communication and equipment, transportation, medical support, and last, mortar fire support. Employment consideration, no mobility. The squad is not as mobile as mounted forces in a terrain favorable to a vehicular movement. It is dependent on the higher headquarters for movement using mobility assets. The strength of the squad lies in its ability to move in restricted terrain, infiltrate through or around the enemy unobserved, employ accurate small arms fire for short duration, use the environment to protect the force and withstand the extremes of weather and terrain, independent action, in counterinsurgency operation, infantry units operate on much smaller ports. Small units are easier to control, conceal, and much faster for movement. A squad will always operate as part of a platoon or higher units operation. When conducting independent actions, it is always directed and supervised by the platoon leader. A squad on independent tasks should possess the proper equipment to move, shoot, and communicate to ensure the success of its given task. The following should be considered when employing the squad on the independent task. Analysis of the platoon leader, reinforcing time and distance, capability of adjacent friendly units to reinforce, capability to provide indirect parts by higher units. Check on learning what is the smallest unit having elements that will confront the enemy face to face. How many soldiers are composed of rifle squad? Summary After the few minutes discussion, we tackle about the importance of infantry squad operation, its definition, mission, capabilities, and limitations. Sa aming paglalakbay, di lahat sa amin ay bumabalik ng buhay dahil kailangan namin mag-alay ng buhay para sa inyo mga mahal namin sa buhay. That's all for my presentation. Thank you and good.